What's up, everybody? Welcome to Template Tuesday. Welcome to Video Mark. So this is week two with Template Tuesday. If you watched my last video, my first Template Tuesday video, let me explain one more time quickly what this is about. It's uh, I'm recreating uh, popular paid templates or creating other templates to challenge myself to get out of my comfort zone. And today I've got something for you that I think you might like. Um, it's these color transitions that you see everywhere on TV, on uh, online, in ads, and everything. And uh, they've been uh, they've been pretty popular recently. And I tried to recreate this uh, within Premiere Pro and within Premiere Pro only. I didn't use After Effects. So the challenge here was uh, to create it the way so it can, so I can send it uh, save it out as a preset. Now I ended up using uh, MoGraph templates because it's it's much 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 easier to deliver. But basically, um, these is these are all created uh, within within one graphics asset. I didn't use any color mats or or, or anything. And uh, let me show you real quick real quick what this. As you can see, uh, as you can see, these are. Uh, uh, a couple of variations I uh, like inside out and then the other way around and uh, vertical diagonal and um, multiple variations for uh, for those of you who just want to download the template um, let me give you a quick uh, idea of how you can use this so these are the three colors here and uh, you can use all three or just uh, um, toggle the visibility and use uh, just one of these colors and um, let's say uh, we're here and when we change that color to green this turns green and then you're good to go okay or you can use all three of them whatever you like and change these colors accordingly um, and that's 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 basically it so I saved these out as MoGraph templates so if you want to if you want to use them, just go in and uh, go to Browse in the Essential Graphics panel and load these uh, these transitions. Pretty easy, okay? And um, yeah, I mean, if you just want to download the template, please feel free to go ahead and, and download from a website. But uh, there's one little favor I'm going to ask for you, ask of you. It's uh, please keep watching the video because um, if you bounce right away. <laughs> Uh, that's going to ruin my watch time and uh, YouTube loves watch time so just let the video roll and download it when it's over or download it uh, while this is this is still playing uh, but uh, please just uh, don't bounce right away I'm having a horrible horrible watch time on YouTube just because everybody's downloading the the templates and uh, it doesn't watch the rest of the video but Still, nonetheless, let me explain how I created this because after all, we want to learn something. And that's why I'm doing this. At the same time, I want to teach how I created it and hopefully you will learn something along the way and uh, get better in Premiere Pro and After Effects and, and all these tools that I use for template for template creation. So as mentioned, the challenge here was uh, to create it within Premiere Pro. And let's say we... Uh, we are here. I have these two example videos here. So we're sitting right here. Go to the essential essential graphics panel. Go under edit to a new rectangle. And this will create a new rectangle. The problem is when you use when you use the pen tool or the rectangle tool and just drag a rectangle, the problem is that you don't know the size of this rectangle, but we have to know exactly um, the dimensions of this rectangle because we want the anchor point to center in this shape. And for some reason, because here's a numeric uh, a, a value, 100% value, it doesn't give you the pixel dimension of this of this rectangle. 